I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my YouTube channel and the website Global Math Institute. In this video, we'll understand how do we write equivalent trigonometric ratios. Four examples are there for us. Let us see a simple way of writing equivalent trigonometric ratios. You can always pause the video, answer the question, and then look into my suggestions. In case you want to learn from me, send an email on globalmathinstitute at gmail.com. So let's begin with our solutions. Let's take the very first question, which is cos of 3 pi by 10. We need to state equivalent ratio. How do we do that? Well, let's try to figure out cos 3 pi by 10, where will it be, right? On a coordinate plane, 3 pi by 10, pi is divided into 10 equal parts. So, 3 pi will be, 3 pi over 10 will be in quadrant 1, right? So, let's say somewhere there, right? So, that will be 3 pi by 10. Is that clear to you? Cos is positive in quadrant 1 and therefore, this value is also positive. If you are trying to find the equivalent ratio, that means that has to be positive and we know it is positive in quadrant 4 since you know the cost rule, right? So the cost rule is that cos is positive in 1 and 4, correct? So the equivalent ratio should be in quadrant 4. Now in quadrant 4, what could be the angle? Well, the angle normally is measured counterclockwise as positive. Perfect. So, if I say counterclockwise is positive, this becomes my angle. Correct? This becomes my angle. Acute angle being 3 pi by 10. Total, as you know, 2 pi will be 20 pi by 10. Correct? 3 less will be 17, right? So, this has to be 17 pi by 10. So, we could write this as equal to cos of 17 pi by 10. Does it make sense to you? Correct. 3 less than 20, right? So, that is how we get our equivalent trigonometric ratio. Now, let's look into question number 2, which is negative sine 8 pi by 9. We will follow the same method. The method being figure out on a quadrant plane where you are. In this particular case, as you can see, 8 pi by 9 means a pi by 9 less than, right? So, it is 8 pi by 9. You can see that, correct? So, that is where you are. Since you are in quadrant 2, sine will be positive, correct? And sine is positive. That means the related acute angle should be in quadrant 1, right? Related acute angle will be in quadrant 1 and the related acute angle is pi by 9, right? So, it should be pi by 9. So, I could write this as minus sine pi by 9. You get the idea. Well, you could also think about writing more equivalent ratios. For example, how about this? Now, here sine is automatically positive. And we could also write this as sine 10 pi by 9. Since sine 10 pi by 9 will be negative and we are expecting a negative result, that should also form an equivalent ratio. You get the idea. So, there could be many answers for the given question. That is how we can figure it out. Perfect. Next question here is cos 6 pi by 7. I would like you to pause the video at this time and answer this question. Strategy is very clear. First step, figure out where you are, in which quadrant, so that you know whether it is a negative value or a positive value. You may even write the cost rule, which can help you, right? So, let's write down the cost rule. Okay. Cost 6 pi by 7 means you are in quadrant. You are in quadrant 2, correct? In quadrant 2, we know cos is negative and therefore, the equivalent ratio should be in quadrant 3. You get the idea? What angle is that? One more, right? 
So, 1 more than 7. So, that will be cos of 8 pi by 7. Does it make sense? That's simple. So, you can very quickly get the answers. You see, both are negative. Perfect. So, I hope you got the trick now. So, the last question for you to do, here is how you are going to do. Make a coordinate plane, right? Figure out where you are. 13 pi by 15 means that you are in coordinate 2, right? So, again in coordinate 2. Since tan repeats, like right? So, that is the answer, correct? Now, find the related acute angle. The related acute angle is 2 pi by 15, right? So, that is also 2 pi by 15. So, 2 less than 13. So, I could write this as what? I could write this as minus tan. 2 less than 30, right? 28 pi by 15, correct? You get the idea. So, negative or negative will be positive. I could have written other trigonometric ratios also. For example, I could have write this as equal to tan 2 pi by 15, right? Or even tan 17 pi by 15. All the four answers are correct. I'd like you to now pause and think why all are correct answers for me. Perfect. But I hope with this you get the concept. Perfect. Feel free to write your comment, share your views. If you like and subscribe to my videos, that would be great. Thanks for your time and all the best.